A helicopter engine failure is a severe emergency, demanding immediate and precise pilot response. Unlike fixed-wing aircraft, helicopters do not simply glide. They enter a state known as autorotation. Autorotation is the primary emergency procedure for a power loss. The pilot disengages the engine from the main rotor, allowing the rotor blades to spin freely due to aerodynamic forces. This maintains rotor RPM, providing lift for a controlled descent. The pilot manipulates collective and cyclic controls to manage rotor speed and glide path. The goal is to convert potential energy into kinetic energy, ensuring the rotor continues to generate lift. This maneuver is practiced extensively during pilot training. Successful autorotation heavily depends on several critical factors. Initial altitude and airspeed provide the energy buffer needed to execute the maneuver safely. Pilot proficiency and rapid decision-making are paramount. Terrain also plays a significant role in the final touchdown. Pilots aim for clear level ground to minimize impact forces. The type of helicopter, whether single or multi-engine, also dictates the specific emergency procedure. In a multi-engine helicopter, the failure of one engine typically allows the remaining engine, S, to continue providing power. The aircraft can often maintain flight, albeit with reduced performance, and proceed to a safe landing. Total power loss, however, necessitates full auto-rotation. Understanding these procedures is vital for aviation safety. If you found this explanation informative, please like this video and share it with others interested in aviation. Subscribe to our channel for more technical insights and leave your questions or comments below.